everyone. Welcome to Stories from Motorsports. Today, it's the Justin and Justin show, as we have two Justins with us, my co-host and then Justin uh, Yoder. Is that right? Yoder. Uh, there you go, Yoder. Mm-hmm. Yoder. Justin Yoder. Welcome, Justin. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. So how do you know uh, Justin Yoder, uh, Justin? <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is going to be a little derby. <laughs> so far, derby. So, he, he's a big influence of mine. That is really cool. How'd you, what was your first interaction with him? Oh, gosh. Muncie? Was it guessing? That, that sounds about right. Because it was... You and me and Allie, Allie, Denny. Yeah. Right? We kind of all hung out. Mm-hmm. Like 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, 20 years ago, right? Oh, at least. Uh, at least that. Uh. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. So, Justin, uh, what exactly do you have? Do you have some sort of a condition or something? Yep, I have spina bifida along with hydrocephalus, mm. which just basically means I can't walk, and the water, the spinal fluid doesn't drain off, drain off my brain like other individuals. So I have a shunt that does the draining for me. Okay. I have autism, but you know, none of that mm-hmm. defines who we are, so yeah. Right, exactly. So, right. Well, Justin, I was wondering, what was your reaction when you heard there was going to be a movie made, Miracle in 2? Kind of go over that for our viewers. Sure, of course. Yeah, so, when I was in, like, oh, <clears throat> I believe it was 6th or 7th grade, that's when we were approached by two gentlemen from my church. Um, and I can remember thinking, at least in sixth grade, I remember thinking, holy crap, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. And then when it came out in the year 2000, I was a little bit older and a little bit wiser. And I can remember thinking, hmm, so you're telling me that millions and millions of people are going to know this and, you know, this and this and this and this all about me? Hmm. I'm not quite sure I want the world to know that. But so, I mean, I was still extremely grateful and extremely proud, but it kind of was more like, hmm. I don't know if I'm ready for my whole life to be plastered out to the whole world. Hmm, that's really interesting. So, um, is it is the project turning out well? Yeah, it, uh, the movie came out in 2000 uh, on the Disney Channel, and it was pretty widely popular. Which, at least I think it was, I don't really know. But I'm pretty sure it was widely popular. Um, yeah. Okay. As far as, I, as far as I know, they still show it on the Disney Channel at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. in random countries around the world, which is really weird. Hmm. What made you get into racing? Um. I come from a pretty competitive family, or a very athletic family, I guess, you know, and so my my older brother is a, is a, he was a jock growing up, and I like sports, I mean, I love all sports, and I wanted to be involved, but of course, having a disability made that really, really rough and really, really hard, yeah, uh, so... Actually, a gentleman from my church, his name is Vic Coop. 
he his kids had raced and he goes to my church and so he approached my parents and said hey you know I really think that this is something Justin can do no problem we just have to be creative um, and so yeah from my church guy from my church was like you should check this out and so we did and it was I loved it do you follow NASCAR at all or what series do you follow I do not actually I the only racing that I that I have ever done or followed has pretty much been so far Derby. has been what so the soap, baby. Yeah, the soapbox story that Jocelyn oh, and I yeah. did. I've heard of it. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Have you met any big names in racing? Um, kind of interesting. I, I didn't meet these people, but um, when I was in the hospital for like a couple months, Scott Goodyear, he sent me a letter of some sort. Just saying, hey, I've heard about your story. I hope you're doing well. But so he sent me a letter. I didn't meet him, but he sent me a letter. And then I think the indie car driver, um, Lynn St. James, I think was her name. I think she's way retired by now. But uh, Lynn St. James, she invited me to one of her, like, benefit dinner type things as a special guest so I did get to meet her I met her um and then <laughs> early on early on in Miracle in Lane 2 they were debating thinking about putting Jeff Gordon as God to play the character God but they went in a different direction and that didn't happen. 